I'm Paige Lee Stevens. I'm a researcher with Dr. Jason Brooks Lab and I'm also a PhD student. The title of my study is Cognition in Dolphins, the Effects of Anthropogenic Noise on Tertiops Truncatus. So what we're trying to find out is how human-made noise affects learning in dolphins and how that actually affects them learning survival critical behaviors, which is really important for all dolphins, including those that are in the wild. I'm working with the trainers and we're teaching dolphins two different behaviors. We're teaching them what is called match to sample, where they have to match two shapes together and learn that, and then one that's called object as signals. You take an everyday object that might be around, like a cone or a PVC pipe, and you actually teach them the behavior that they're going to need to do. So for example, if I had a cone in the water, we taught the dolphins actually how to do a head nod when they are presented the stimulus. For match to sample, we present the dolphins with a shape underwater and we ask them to submerge and then they are presented with multiple other shapes in which they have to choose the correct matching shape. So the main thing that we're looking for is we're looking at how many sessions that it actually takes for the dolphin to learn that behavior. We have researchers that record each session on each dolphin so that we can look for subtle behavioral differences and also differences in the way that those dolphins learn. We'll be able to actually take notes and look at that. This study helps aid conservation efforts because we don't really know how human-made noise affects dolphins in the wild. So we play noise here at a very minimal level because what we really want to know is does it distract the dolphins? And so what that helps us know is if this noise is actually affecting the wild dolphins, they're not able to learn survival critical behaviors. They have to know how to hunt for their food and navigate their surroundings. They have to teach their young. And if that learning is affected, then their population is going to be affected. The advantage of working with a facility like Dolphin Quest is that we know that the population of dolphins is healthy and that they are volunteering to do the study. So we can ask them to perform certain behaviors that we wouldn't be able to do in the wild.